Okay, well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get an equation that, or a polynomial that might be in factored form and get it to standard form. So, for example, let's say if we're trying to find the volume of this box. Now, we know that we could multiply the dimensions together to get x times 2x plus 3 times x plus 5. But if the problem asks us to write our answer in standard form, this is not in standard form. To get this in standard form, we want to be able to, we want to multiply all three of these together. Now there's a couple of different techniques we can use to get to that. One way is to be using what's called the extended distributive property or the FOIL property. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this 2x plus 3 and the x plus 5 and multiply those together. So using the extended distributive property, also known as the FOIL method, we're going to take 2x times x and 2x times 5. When I do that, 2x times x gives me 2x squared, and 2x times 5 gives me 10x. So I'm done multiplying the 2x times those items. Now we're going to distribute the 3 times those items. So 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 5 is 15. Now we could simplify inside these brackets. The 10x plus 3x would be 13x. So I'd have 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. Oops. Now, we're not done yet because we still have this x that we have to multiply everything by. So now I'm going to distribute this x, and multiply that times everything inside the brackets, or if you had parentheses, everything inside the parentheses. So your final answer would be 2x cubed plus 13x squared plus 15x. And this would be our polynomial expressed in standard form. Now that's using the extended distributive property. I'm going to show you another technique that, because some people have a hard time with this piece here, with distributing the 2x plus 3 times x plus 5, and they make all sorts of errors. So if you're someone that has a tendency to make those errors, maybe, maybe this technique might work better for you. And that's using what I call this box method, or a window method, where we create what looks like a window or a box. And we have two items multiplying by two items, so we're going to make a 2 by 2 grid. Outside of this grid, we're going to uh, put the 2x plus 3 and x plus 5 in any order. It doesn't matter if you have the 2x plus 3 on the top or if you have the 2x plus 3 on the side. Uh, so I could have switched these around and I'd end up getting the same answer. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this like a multiplication table. I'm going to multiply the x times 2x. Well, that's 2x squared. x times 3 is 3x. 5 times 2x is 10x. And 5 times 3 is 15. Now I would still, I don't want to leave it in the box. I want to write this out. So what I can do is I could get what I have here in brackets by starting out with the 2x squared. The 10x and 3x, we can add those together to get 13x and then plus 15. So that's a little bit more of an organized way because I know for myself, especially if we have um, three terms times another three terms or even three terms times two terms, it can get kind of ugly. Multiply them together because you have everything in a straight line. It's all linear. My brain doesn't always work well like that. Sometimes it helps to have it more organized. So maybe having this box or window method might work for you. So let's have you do this. Why don't I, got, why don't I have you guys work on finding the volume of this box again? You want to have your answer in standard form. So why don't you pause the video and try this one on your own and hit play when you're ready to check to see if you have the correct answer. Okay, so let's see how he did. You should have gotten 3x cubed plus 10x squared minus 8x as your answer. Now, you could have done that a couple of ways. Again, you could have uh, distributed the... Um, and, you, and you don't have to do it this way. You can start by multiplying x times 3x and x times negative 2 and take that answer times the x plus 4. What you don't want to do, though, is I see some people do this. They multiply everything by x. You only want to multiply one set by x and then multiply that set by the x plus 4. That's why I like to do this method better, multiplying the binomials first and then distributing the x through. It avoids making that common mistake. But when you do that, you get 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. Again, you can also use the box method that I show down here. And then distribute the x through and you get your answer, 3x cubed plus 10x squared minus 8x. So hopefully you have a better understanding now how to take a polynomial that's in factored form and get it in your standard form.